Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. We have another series of abduction missions and we're going to Canada. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to give our new mech trooper a spin. This should be pretty interesting. And other than that, we are going to leave the team intact. Let's go. I'd love to get a captain promotion out of this mission. I don't know how plausible that is. Strike one. Prepare. But I badly want to get our squad Drop size up this to operation six. Will be in Canada. We've gotten several reports indicating. Yep. Thank you for that report. Central. Big sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Okay, this map looks strangely familiar. Is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Well, I wonder what our odds are of getting meld. That is not meld. I just thought I'd see. Ah, uh, okay. So we know where one of them is. Let's see if we can get over there. Well, I'm going to have just perfect cover the whole way. That much is clear. Actually, I'm going to come uh, here. I would so much rather, uh, you know, like get to here as my next step. I've got three turns. Jeez, that's crazy. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that. Headed there now. All right, Mr. Increased Mobility. Let's That's see how you do. You know what we could do. Oh, I'd be... Well, hell, it doesn't matter. I can't get behind cover anyway. What do I care? And I found the next container. That actually worked out pretty well. Okay, well, let's see. Um, where do I want my sniper? I mean, maybe just like here. Affirmative. Moving out. It's at least, you know, modest cover. Got my eyes on. And I will move forward map. with my support. And let's see what happens Roger next. That. It's pretty funny that I moved all the way over here and didn't trigger a group, actually. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's collect the meld. Now, um, we'll go ahead and start moving forward. And I think before I do anything else and forget, let me move him like... Let me get the sense of it. Yeah, I want to move him basically... Well, I'll move him here. I want to have a line of sight down this uh, alley or whatever you want to call it. Or through the drive-up window, I guess. And... Yeah, here's where it gets rough. I can't really do anything with these guys. Uh, until I, you know, move forward, so this kind of is what it is. Let's get both of them up. Covering now. I feel good that we at least have the one meld canister in hand. We can see the other one. All right, we got a couple of sectoids coming. I think we can handle that. Target acquired. I mean, if we get into a big old huge firefight, um, I don't know how likely it is that we'll get that second meld, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, I guess he cannot see the sectoids. Um, hmm. I'm actually not crazy about the cover available to my assault from here I guess I'll come over here and reveal three floaters okay 
Okay. Let me see if my heavy, if John, can he, no, no, just not. I could kill one, I mean, I'm not using a rocket for one floater, so. Okay. Well, I guess let's move here. Jesus, come on. Wow. This should be interesting. Let's see if we can get a kill. No. It's a nice touch that um, he has one health. Since I'm under half cover anyway, let me at least get closer. It may help next turn. Oh, and it even is going to help a little bit this turn. Uh, alternatively, I could maybe use a smoke grenade. And you know what? That's probably the way to go. I don't know whether I should do this, but I'm going to do this. See what happens. Okay, what can you do? 28% really. Now I'm kind of nervous about moving forward because, um, you know, let's do this. Let's come in here. And then I'm just going to use my regular old minigun. Let's see if I can finish this clown. <laughs> I tell you, when things are going your way in this game, they really go your way. Okay, I'm going to try to take this guy out, I guess. Well, I guess that's stupid. So, let's just go for the regular shot. I have the higher percentage. I need to kill something. With 58, there was just too much chance we weren't going to get that guy. And that would have been pretty bad. Can I have any kind of 4% and 16%? Okay, seriously, I'm just going to hunker down. Overwatch with a shotgun from this distance is going to be absolutely useless. And uh, hopefully this will help keep them alive. We have so many aliens that have the potential to fire this turn. Okay, one of the uh, floaters is going into rocket mode. I need to make sure I kill that floater this turn, needless to say. Oh man, so many aliens. There's heavy fire in this zone. So I guess I need to start keeping score because um, it's really dangerous when you stop paying attention to that. We have three thin men, two floaters, and two sectoids to kill. So let me do this. Let me start with my sniper. Uh, hurry. Oh, 50%. Don't like that. So obviously I would rather shoot at one of these other guys. Now, here's the question. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Let me just make sure where he's positioned. Yeah, okay, so he's behind the truck, but since I can come here, it's okay. So I am going to take at least one Overwatch shot, but he's got uh, lightning reflexes. If there's more, I'm just going to have to rely on the fact that he's dashing to help keep him safe. It does not look like I'm getting that second meld, of course. Alright, 100% and 70 to crit. I think I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> yep. So now, what can he do? If anything, I have a 60% chance at that guy. And then that's it. But what I could do is come back here and punch one of these clowns in the face. 
granted, I don't know that Thin Men are necessarily what I had in mind with their little poison cloud uh, when I took this guy. So let's see about just using this 60%. Oh, God. I have no ammo available. No okay. Selected target. Well, let's uh, let's kill the Thin Man if we can. If we attempted to retrieve okay. those canisters rather than destroying them. I am really... Oh. What the hell is she even talking about? I thought she was saying that Meld went away. God, I wish someone would just kill her. Okay. Um, can I do anything with a rocket now? I could take... Well, actually, not even positive I'd get them. This doesn't look bad. I guess I can't, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Now we're gonna destroy the meld. I think that's just something I'm gonna have to live with. Okay, here we go. Christ's sake. For my money, when they put in that toggle switch to turn off beginning voiceovers, they needed to include a lot more in that. Uh, because they still have way too much of these idiots just coming in and jabbering at you with crap that you don't need or want to hear. Okay, have I already used my turn for him or can he move? Okay, well, he doesn't have any ammo. I, uh, that's weird. I guess that was just a visual bug. See, I still have the blue lines here, but apparently it's just a bug. Okay, well, we know there's somebody in the back of the store uh, back of the restaurant. Oh, two seekers. That's right. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have moved away. That's okay. At this stage, I feel pretty confident we should be able to um, take out a seeker very quickly. And actually, I think what I'm going to do... There is still a... Let's just come out here. I need to reload. What I was going to say is there is still a sectoid alive back there somewhere. We do know this. I'm going to bring my sniper up. Give him a pistol. Since we only have the one sniper, it's not safe for him to be alone back there. Um, yeah, I actually think I'll just come back this way. And same thing. We'll just, like, come over here. I have to be a little mindful of that sectoid. Yeah. Listen. Okay, still nothing. So let me bring him closer. I'm on it, Commander. Let me just make sure, yeah, so he cannot see that stupid sectoid. Fair enough. Okay, well. I feel Commander. Oh, up. I didn't mean to do that. Overwatch. Overwatch all around. That should make hash of the sectoid if he does move forward. Hello. They're not coming. Alright. If I'm going to keep him on the stupid pistol. I guess if they don't come this turn, I'll start heading back and at least see if I can find this stupid sector. Here we go. Nailed him. 
Yeah. I mean, that actually wasn't that impressive. <laughs> we only got one uh, hit. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a win. I'm leaving my sniper with his pistol because at this range, he won't hit anything with the rifle. Yes, yes, I know. There's something out there. So, I don't know if we're going to get a chance to use the big punch this uh, this mission. It's kind of a shame because, you know, I wanted to, but it's just we activated literally the entire map. And to run him back right into the thick of that, that did not seem smart. Well, alright. I'll go one more turn. God, these things are just stupid annoying. Yep, okay. I'm done. I'm on it, Commander. We'll come back, see if we can spot Mr. Sectoid. Yeah. Of course he's on Overwatch. I mean, what else is he going to be doing? Incoming. Over here. It's interesting the way they do the voice for the mech. Kind of like he is a robot. I guess maybe it's more... Did he hit him? I need another one. Sure did. Good work, Commander. Uh, okay, that confuses the hell out of me because I thought there were two of the Seekers and I killed one. Well, whatever, we got ten aliens dead, one canister of meld, and we lost nobody. All in all, not a bad result. Excellent work, Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any So, casualties. unfortunately, we still don't have a captain. I'm going rapid fire. I don't really like flush. Uh, I love the idea of it, but in practice, they just seem to run from one cover to the other. And let's see. Um, two bonus damage against targets that have been autopsied. That's interesting. When the mech takes damage, all further damage will be reduced by two for the next two turns. You know, I would love to have this, but I'm going to take this for the simple fact that, um, especially using the punch, I'm going to have to get up close and personal with these guys. So, you know, he could be in a position to take a pretty good beating. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay, I don't even want to know what this is going to look like. <laughs> well, it doesn't look good, I'll tell you that. Yeesh. Okay, well, uh, no point trying to map out a real plan yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's get our beam weapons. Awesome. And let's go ahead and go for experimental warfare, I think. Yeah, it's five days. I think these will, will take a lot more. And I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruit. We did need those scientists, I have to say. Oh, crap. I don't know if we can handle a large scout. I hope so. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, uh, and you know, I, I could have bought the buffs. I should have. That was, that was a miss. If this one fails, I'll do it uh, before I come back in here. All right, we got him. Yeah, I shouldn't have worried. I should have known we had it all along. All righty. So uh, our little band still needs one more member, but you know, we're getting there. We've got four lieutenants and one sergeant. That's not bad. If we can just get one guy up to captain, 
Um, you know, we'll have four shots at it. And a large scout, there should be uh, a decent number of aliens there. But that's all for now. So thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.